going to cover how you can send messages in Moodle. Now, unlike uh, WebCT4, there's no traditional email tool in Moodle. What you have with Moodle are two options. You can do uh, messaging, which is sort of like instant messaging, where you send mail uh, messages back and forth between students, and we're going to cover that in a later tutorial. Or you can use the Quick Mail tool. What the Quick Mail tool will do is let you as an instructor send mail to however many students you, you select. And it's going to go to their inbox, their uh, email inbox, to whatever email address is specified in their profile. So if you go to the Quick Mail tool and you send mail to your entire class, by default that will go to their NJIT email addresses unless they've modified their profile to point to something like their Gmail or their Yahoo account. So this is a great way to do one-way communication. What you should be aware of, however, is that students are going to get this email and they can't respond using Quick Mail. What they would have to do to respond to you is use the messaging uh, features and the messaging tools that we'll talk about later. So to get started using the Quick Mail is you're going to go to Turn Editing On and if you haven't done so already you need to add the Quick Mail block. So I noticed that the Quick Mail block has not been added to my course so I go down to where uh, it says Blocks and the Add drop down menu and you locate Quick Mail and you click on it and that will add the block to your course. So remember when it adds a block it always adds it to the right column all the way at the bottom and from here you can move it using the up, down, or left or right arrows. So what we want to do is hit compose email. And When I click compose email it's going to bring up a list of all the students who are enrolled in my class. And you can choose to select uh, all of your students or you could go and um, select just a couple. The add all button will add everyone and alter, all, I, as an alternative what you can do is click a name and hit add, add someone one at a time or you can hold the control button down and select multiple people that you want to add. Once you've added them you'll notice that their names will appear under the selected recipients list. What you can now do is uh, verify that that list is correct. If you need to remove someone you can just click on their name and hit remove. So you'll see I'm going to remove Jim Marco. So now when you have the recipient set, you're going to scroll down. Under the attachments, you can browse and add an attachment, which is nice. You can also give a subject. So I have this is a quick mail test. That's my subject. And under the message, I'm just going to say this is a test. Now under the message field, this is where you would want to... Uh, write something descriptive. This is the actual message that's going to get sent to the students. And when you have the subject that's appropriate, you have the message typed up, you just click send email and Moodle will automatically send the email to everyone. Now you're going to get a message screen that says email sent successfully and then it's going to send you right to back to the home page. And that's basically how you use Quick Mail. It's a great way to send mail to everyone. If you uh, are an NJT faculty member and you've used uh, our pipeline method to send mail. This works exactly the same way. The only other thing you should really be aware of is that uh, under the Quick Mail tool you also have the option of going to Quick Mail History. And if you click the Quick Mail History link, what you'll do is see a list of all the messages that you've previously sent. And if you click the little magnifying glass, you could view to see who they were sent to and the actual message and review it. And then you could always resend it from here or just click cancel. So this is the quick mail tool and remember this is something that only you can use as an instructor. If you uh, want to communicate back and forth with your students what you'll want to do is look at the messaging um, tutorial.